Okay, so we did a bunch of work here to figure out these numbers for this buffer, and I want to point out that we use the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to take a slightly different approach here, and I want to take this problem as if it were coming at us from the other direction, and I want to say, hey, what would be the pH of uh, a buffer that has a pers like basically we're gonna go back to this set of conditions here um, but we're gonna start with that information and we're gonna say what would be the pH of the buffer so I'm gonna start uh, here and there's a method to the madness I'm gonna start with this original equation and I want to treat it as if we're just going to do an equilibrium ice table and we're going to use the equilibrium constant and we are going to avoid the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation. This is going to get at this thing that I talk about in class as us making an approximation about our buffers. Okay, so in this problem, it's, it's all the same math, but in this problem we're saying, hey, I have this buffer and we're going to start with these molarities of these two different species. Right now, I'm not as concerned at how we got that concentration. Maybe it was through this method that we did in the previous problem. Maybe we're just directly adding HF and adding some something like a potassium fluoride to solution. But my initial concentrations on these things are going to look like this. So 0.061, this is in molar. And then I'm going to have my uh, 0.139 over here, also in molar. I'm not going to care about the liquid water here. This is going to be interesting to me to learn the pH eventually. And this value um, right now is, is approximately 10 to the minus 7 because I'm, I, in this problem I'm adding these species to some neutral water. I'm just going to say it's approximately 0 right now. Okay, so this, I put these things in, and it is reasonable to expect that there's going to be some sort of shift to the left or to the right here. Uh, I don't really know which direction it is, but as long as I keep my, my x values constant, um, or consistent, I should say, with their signs, uh, I'm just going to say I think this is going to shift right. So I'm going to say that we are going to eat away at the hf by a factor of minus x. Uh, that means that I would have a plus x building over here and a plus x building over here. Okay, this time this is equilibrium, where it's going to be 0 0.061 minus x. This is going to be 0 0.139 plus x. And then this is going to be just an x value over here. So my Ka... If I just look it up, and so I'm just turning to one of my little sheets here. It doesn't look like that's going to come through very easily. But I'm just looking up the Ka value for uh, HF is going to be 7.2 e to the minus 4. And let's go ahead and just write that out with our, our equilibrium expression. So products over reactants. I think I'm going to have a 0 0.139 plus x up there. There's going to be an x by itself. And then over the denominator is going to be this guy. Okay, so one could go through and could solve this out for x. If you wanted to type it into a solver or something like that, um, that could certainly be done. Algebraically, we're going to we're going to know that we can get away with solving this in a much easier way. So what's going to happen, this is very similar to the 5% rule. This x that's right here, this thing needs to not be messed with mathematically. It is going to be a multiplier into this numerator. It is going to significantly contribute to what's going on over here. But these two x's are a little bit of a different story. So they have this initial value that's right here. And then this is going to be a tiny adjustment. We're saying, yeah, I think this is going to grow ever so slightly. 
same as are very similar down here. This is the initial value. I think it's going to decrease ever so slightly. Uh, what we do all day long whenever we're dealing with buffers is we go ahead and make the assumption that these two x's are zeros. In fact, I'm going to just grab a different color sharpie here. And we're going to assume that these two x's are trivial. Uh, and so it would essentially be the same as multiplying this value, um, or excuse me, this value multiplied by x divided by just this value without these tiny little modifiers. So if I go through this process and I solve for x, which is of great interest to me to understand what the pH is going to be, I'm going to find that x is equal to... So with my calculator, I find 3.16, let's call it, uh, e to the minus 4. This x value, let's just do a quick little check here. So this is 3.16 e to the minus 4. This is 6 e to the minus 2. This is... 1e to the minus 1. These are a lot bigger than this particular x value here. So it looks like it is a pretty good approximation that these are not going to adjust these numbers by very much. If I take the negative log base 10 of this number here so that I can get myself into the world of pH, I'm going to find that my pH uh, now I'm rounding this number by just a little bit, but honestly not much, is 3.5. And I want to take us back for a moment to what we did over here with the Henderson-Hasselbach equation. We wanted to start with making a buffer that's 3.5. I had these requirements on it. I used Henderson-Hasselbach. And one thing that I want to point out to everybody is... These values, these are the values that you need to have in solution. This is the ratio that you need to have. And what we eventually always end up doing with our buffer work is we make this approximation that's right here. Now, we are not going to write this math out every time, but you'll notice that whatever the initial amount of F minus I had, track it down, we eventually call it constant. Or we say in the end, I'm still going to have exactly that amount because remember our approximation is getting rid of that x. However much hf we started with, we eventually say that that's how much we end with. Even in our equilibrium expression, it's because of this math. Now if I carry this out, I still have it on my calculator. 3.50035. I'm sure I have some other rounding errors somewhere in here, like with some of these numbers or something like that. But I, I want to make sure that people understand that this method here is highly, highly linked to just jumping in and using the Henderson-Hasselbach equation. Remember, this Ka expression is actually the Henderson-Hasselbach equation as long as you go take the negative log of all your terms and kind of rearrange some things here. So what we are going to do from here on out, anytime that we are working with a buffer, is we are going to go ahead and say, well, however much of these particular species that I'm starting with, we are going to use that approximation, which is that these things do not really fall apart in solution much more than what they started as uh, in order to figure out what our kind of final equilibrium concentration looks like. So hopefully you see that buffers are highly related um, through all this different work and we're going to use that a lot when we start looking at some of our titrations. All right, thank you.